Hello everyone and welcome to the Slab Text tutorial. Let's get started. Slab Text is an extension and is located in the menu. Window, Extension. Slab Text works with point text, but if you apply it to paragraph text, it will be converted to point text and slab text will be applied to it. In PS and AI, a copy of the original layer will be created before conversion. Slab Text Tracking Scale The tracking scale slider determines how the line will be increased to the maximum width. If the width of the original line is greater than the slider value, the line will be increased using tracking, increasing the distance between characters. If less, the characters themselves will be increased scale. There is also a switch that prescribes to always increase the line scale if it has only one word. Slab Text Leading Sets the minimum distance between lines. It is a percentage of the height of the highest line. At the minimum value, the distance between lines will be zero. At the maximum, the height of the highest line. There is a switch that enables slash disables, taking into account the size of the character below the baseline. Allows you to reduce the distance between lines, but line intersections are possible. Slab text recolor. Enables the function of coloring lines with a gradient between two colors depending on the scale value of this line. Lines that are not enlarged or with tracking will be colored with the first color. Lines with the maximum scale will be colored in the second color. Clear slab text. In the flyout menu, there is a clear slab text item that resets some parameters to standard values. This helps if you want to edit or reformat the text. Clear slab text sets vertically and horizontally scale to 100%, leading to auto and tracking to zero. Well, that's all about slab text. I hope you find it useful.